How's it going, everybody? What I'm going to do today is talk about how over the last couple of years and through Merch by Amazon, I finally hit $200,000 in sales and I'm currently sitting at 11,676 total sales. Again, this is through Merch by Amazon and Print On Demand. What I'm going to do in this video is, is I'm going to take you through the account history and for anybody who's new, who hasn't watched my channel, I, I might even uh, stop for a few minutes here and there to talk about, you know, what print on demand is and, you know, how I got into it. But if you're looking to hear uh, a story about somebody making uh, the, these kinds of sales and, and 200,000 uh, US dollars in sales in a month, in a year, uh, you might as well stop the video now. I'm gonna be very real with you guys. Hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes and, and hopefully uh, you know learn from my successes and, and use that information to uh, you know be successful on your own. Now what my goal is with this account is definitely to keep going. I'm currently at tier 20,000 I'll, I'll show you those screens as well and, and show you how many designs I have live and uh, and kind of uh, where I'm going from here. So as you can see here, uh, I just cracked 10,000 sales in the US market not too long ago. And that's what made me uh, want to do this video because 10,000 sales and, and you know, uh, actually getting 122,000 dollars in sales uh, on on any platform I think uh, at least according to me and my feelings should be celebrated I don't think we should take any of this lightly I think there's so much uh, content on YouTube that can really kind of like cloud our our judgment and our expectations that we drift away from from what's real and, and what a real expectation is based on your skills and, uh, and I guess your uh, experience in this field. Now you're looking at the numbers and results from someone who didn't know in 2016 what print on demand was. I honestly didn't know, I had no idea. So that means that I didn't know anything about designing, that means that I uh, was learning and I'm still learning uh, how to do keywords, how to form your titles, descriptions, you know, how to, do basic uh, research on products that are trending, how that whole psychology works of, of people who are actually buying things. You know, are, are evergreens a better idea versus chasing trends? All those kinds of things. I, I still don't know the answers to, but, but what I can do is share how I got to this point. So it all started in 2017 and uh, Again, like I said, in 2016, I had no idea what print on demand was. I, I started looking into digital downloads on Etsy and, you know, spent months actually creating designs and uh, uploading products only to find out that, you know, I definitely wasn't the first one to be doing that and uh, that a lot of my products uh, or similar products or at least niches were already up for digital downloads. After doing some more research, I discovered print on demand. And then, uh, but just by chance, it was luck that I that I learned about uh, merch, merch by Amazon. Applied for the account, got approved, and then of course you can see when I started uploading. So the first couple of sales happened in 2017. Now keep in mind, like this is when I was convinced that because of certain people, certain characters on YouTube uh, that were apparently doing so well, right, while selling their uh, their their training programs and and certain you know uh, who knows uh, what you want to call them resources, uh, you know who made certain promises that if you if you get your merch by Amazon account and uh, you know you follow certain steps that that you might be quitting your job within a year and uh, you know that that's kind of like the the projection of sales that everybody uh, will be going 
going through. But I quickly learned that that wasn't the case. I also quickly learned that there's ups and downs in this built business, that there's certain things that, that you have absolutely no control over. For example, 2020, uh, COVID happened. You know, there's a month where nobody made any sales because Amazon was not shipping out products. They were not selling them. And then that also resulted in like a whole year of lost profits. Uh, all of this is uh, 2017. I would consider a waste of time because when I was in tier uh, 10 and tier 25, I didn't know that I could you know, just buy myself uh, out of those tiers. So those are the kinds of things that I would encourage you guys to really spend time on uh, learning and, and you know don't do it the hard way the, the, the hard way that I did uh, when it comes to you know just kind of like taking a, a shot in the dark thinking that you know just because somebody said online that if you post enough products uh, you're going to be making sales this is a business take it seriously and and you could probably accomplish in half the time what I accomplished let's say in in four years uh, especially if you have uh, experience, if, if you have sold products on other platforms and you use the, the tools and resources available to you. My biggest mistake was that I refused to spend any money throughout 2017, 18, probably going into 19, um, on any kind of research tools, any kind of uh, design help. Everything was done in a very amateur way, in a very... Uh, kind of uh, let's hope this works way but you know what while I was doing this I was also biz building other businesses on Etsy on eBay through my own website through other kinds of th other types of businesses that I was working on so I was actually working on multiple sources of income and sometimes I wonder if if that was the right move or if for example if I had invested all that time an effort into just merch if my results overall would be different but that's that's not what I'm here to talk about the couple of things that I do want to mention is expect things like this to happen for example at the end of 2021 my sales were going in a very very positive direction until out, out of nowhere for no reason my best sellers just simply stopped selling and it's not like the listings were taken down it's not like i had broken any uh, rules went against any policies or anything like that it just happened it just happened and then things like this for example continue to happen and the the one thing that i can tell you is do not get discouraged because if i had gotten discouraged here i wouldn't have made any money here if i was uh getting discouraged here after this drop then i would have never made it to this point so basically if you're in this uh, for the long term gains that's what you have to do every single day you have to work on something and build on the success from the previous day and that's what i want to do let's look at some of these numbers currently i can upload 2400 products each day or I guess I could because I have room. I could I could really upload 2,400 designs, which I currently don't have ready uh, to upload. But I can. I I'm in tier 20,000, and I currently have 8,726 designs live, and that is a very low number. And I've been actually increasing this number extremely low, especially for me, because I've been growing this number. And I don't know what the right approach is. I am hoping that what I'm doing is is actually beneficial and better for me in the long run. But if I wanted quicker, more immediate gains, profit gains, I would be concentrating on this number because T-shirts and other clothing items are selling much, much better than, for example, tote bags or... Uh, some of the other uh, items that we can look at, even including uh, cell phone cases. Products uh, with sales, uh, just under 1%. This, I, I was actually sitting at, uh, at a much higher percentage before the new 
uh, system was implemented where there was a there's a difference between designs and products uh, because uh, if you guys remember you know there was just a total number so it didn't matter if you had you know 20,000 designs or 20,000 products uh, up for sale th that was your total number so once this increase came or changed and I increased this number significantly my percentage dropped so I think my next kind of uh, step will be to increase this number and to uh, get the live designs up and and I mean significantly the marketplaces here of course there's a clear difference not only because of when uh, these other marketplaces were available but just because uh, I guess of, of where I live and then the the language and everything that the country like the the culture and everything the US marketplace just made more sense to me I know some for example people from Germany uh, when when their German uh, accounts were enabled like those sales just exploded because they were you know in tune with uh, you know trendy designs political uh, happenings and uh, and anything else that would be trendy and they were able to capitalize on that uh, again I'm very happy with uh, you know these kinds of sales uh, in all these different marketplaces because up until a couple of weeks ago I never actually strategically targeted any of these marketplaces I only started making designs that kind of that, that are not specific to you know just one marketplace but that could work in many where before I would only concentrate on my US uh, products and and hope that they would sell in other marketplaces royalties per sale I, I would consider this uh, like I would be happy with around four dollars I've, I've had months where you know my royalties per sale were closer to five dollars because of certain best sellers uh, but but this I would consider low and uh, the the reason this is low is because uh, of the number of pop sockets that I sell and, and you can see that they're my number two best seller uh, of course standard t-shirts being uh, number one I won't spend too much time on colors or any of this but I do want to show you some of the top sellers and, and this is the part that I would really want you to hear and kind of concentrate on these products look at this royalties for my best seller three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars this all happened in a year when pop sockets were first introduced so do I make any more sales when it comes to this product? Maybe one a month. And that went down from being the best seller. So when you're going through this and when you're learning and when you're figuring things out and you're wondering why does something happen? There's so many reasons. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just to accept it as part of business and, and that it is going to happen. If you believe that you're going to maintain having a best seller that there won't be any copycats that there won't be for example pop sockets company uh, maybe stealing your design and, and offering that product for five dollars less than what you can offer it uh, for then then you're delusional be real know that even if you have the best seller like where you sell over a thousand items of one of one shirt and make five thousand dollars in royalties that this product can easily be taken down due to a policy change due to who knows who knows what there, there could be a thousand different reasons right uh, so so as i'm going through this i just want you to know that even though these are my overall best sellers they were best sellers only at certain times you know this was back in 2018 this was in 2021 uh and so on right but again there are still items that, that sell regularly and because I have so many items and we can go we can scroll through this list and you'll see the numbers right uh, there are sales happening all the time so that's what I'm saying do not get discouraged because you know your success can happen can change overnight where you can introduce a product and spend some you know serious time uh, working on the quality of, of the design of the title of the brand name your points and and it can take off and and you know get you a lot of sales so depending on your strategy if you're doing a lot of research before you introduce a product or if you're just simply playing a numbers game and you don't want to get 
10,000 products up for sale as soon as possible, well, that's that's your strategy, and you're going to have to deal with the results of that. But but that's that's how I got to this point. I mean, I can talk about this for hours. I'm going to stay conscious of the time. We're sitting at 15 minutes. Uh, but you know what? I, I got to a point where I did $200,000 in sales on merch. That's one platform with zero experience five years ago, right? Four years ago, whatever you, whatever you want to look at it. Uh, and and I have to tell you, I'm extremely proud of this. And that's why I'm doing these videos, because I want to show you guys uh, the, the real experience of somebody who isn't selling anything, who's just talking about what, what they're doing and, you know, giving you sales updates. And, uh, and, and you know, hopefully we're going to make it uh, together and, and make it big, because the, the point of this is is actually to help anybody who's new, uh, to share information with people that have been in this business, like myself, for a couple of years, and then maybe we can learn from experts, right? Uh, but there's nothing behind this except sharing information, encouraging each other, and uh, just staying positive about everything. So that's it. That's where I am. You know, it took a few years to get to this point, but uh, you know, just even saying that, two hundred thousand dollars in sales and selling eleven thousand six hundred seventy-six products through one platform i think is uh at least i feel amazing about it thank you guys for watching i'll see you soon